good morning, my sweet friends, and welcome to Vlogmas day number nine. Well, as I told you yesterday, today was going to be a semi-maintenance day for me, for the cottage, and maybe Patrick, who knows? He's been acting up a bit. He's been a little belligerent. Maybe he needs a rest. Maybe he needs more cuddling. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go through my routine this morning of getting ready with you. Uh, I've already done quite a bit, but I will show you what it what it takes to get Nanny up and running. So, welcome to the day. Well, I woke up this morning, actually the sleeping last night. He, Moose even said I talked in my sleep last night. I uh, fell asleep about eight o'clock, unfortunately. Um, this happens when I'm up at three or four in the morning, which has been the way it's been going lately. And Moosey said, I woke up about 10 and I said something to him. Um, I don't know, what was it Moose I said? Did I say good morning to you or something at 10? Oh, you, got, you woke up before me. <laughs> that was at 10 o'clock. never went to sleep. You never went to sleep. See, I thought he woke up before me. It was morning. I mean, sleeping's crazy. But anyway, I went back to sleep and up at 3.30 again. So Moose has said, I have to change my sleeping routine and get on a better cycle, which I'm going to try. I mean, this is crazy being up at three in the morning and having coffee. But anyway, I did go back to sleep after I uploaded and Moosey and I had um, some a piece of bread and, and a cup of coffee about 7.30 in bed. And then I got up and started my routine. <clears throat> I did wake up with a, a, a hurt shoulder up here. And um, it's sort of a, it's, it's kind of, I'm holding it close to my, uh, those of you who have chronic pain probably know that when you hold something, an arm like that close to your body, it feels better. I did find an old tube of Ben Gay. Remember that? I don't even know if they still sell it, but it was, <clears throat> was in our little medicine chest and put that on and Moosey made me take two Tylenol. Now, I am very blessed. I normally am not in pain for anything and hardly ever take any medication for pain, which is wonderful and I thank God for that. But I had those two Tylenol about, what, half an hour ago? And it already feels a little bit better. Um, it's amazing what that can do. I know Moosey relies on it a lot. So I, I got up and I took my shower. As you can tell, I'm probably a little greasy because you know my routine. Uh, after I get out of a shower, I always um, dose up with my Vaseline intensive care oil. And it's a thick oil and my body needs that, especially after a shower. In fact, when I wake up in the morning, my face is so tight and I don't know whether that's a curse or or I should be happy about that, that I have the tightness in my face. And I just can't wait to get my, my Nivea on in the morning, or in this case, it was whole body intensive care lotion. I've told you about this before. So I might look a little bit greasy this morning, but I'm feeling good. So with my hair, a lot of you have asked, how do you get your hair curly? Well, I do put, and I have a lot of my my little get readies with me here. I put this uh, Aussie gel on. Now there's another gel that encourages curls. And I have bought some of that. I'll probably use that maybe next time just to see what it's like. But this is that um, Headstrong Volume Gel. And so when I get out of the shower and uh, my hair is still wet, I, I will put the gel in and that's when I start the scrunching process, which is just basically, as you know, what a scrunch is all over. And I feel it right now. It's a little bit stiff. It dries a little bit stiff with, with the gel. And when it's completely dry, 
for this particular curly hairdo, what I will do is run my fingers through it, no comb, no brush, and put some spray on it. And the spray that I use is the Aussie Sprunch Spray. And sprunch again after I spray. And then that kind of livens up the curls. So that's the routine on the hair and body. I put my makeup on so that I'd look a little bit better this morning. Now, I'm having a second cup of coffee now because it's time to do my teeth again. And I've been very, very happy with this whitening system. I threw the box away, but I showed you the box uh, when it was on sale. I bought another one because I've been so happy with it. By the way, these are the uh, regular ones that you get that you leave in for half an hour. They're called Glamorous White. And I think they include two bonus ones in there where you leave in for one hour. I've already used one and this is the other. This is a, a, what they call an express bonus. Whether these are a little bit stronger or what, I don't know, but you leave this one in for one hour. I happen to leave all them in for an hour because it doesn't bother me. I keep them here in a package. And I know a couple of you are buying these because it has been working. I've already told you about that. So I'll enjoy my coffee and then do that. Now, the next thing I have to do is I have to get into more intensive um, maintenance and that's taking care of my feet and I'll probably soak my feet, but they're already clean, but that's in preparation for dealing with the nails. And that's probably the toughest job of all. I still do my own um, pedicures and nails, as you know, and my nails are a wreck because I have been uh, polishing silver and various other things. I have not redone the polish, but I will do that today. And um, might not get around to the, the feet because the nails take a while, but I can still manage that. And I can still manage putting the polish on. I have discovered, remember we talked about a lot of the things you can't do anymore as we get up into the golden years. Funny things. Well, not so funny, but yes. Well, I have learned to put my feet up on the toilet seat and I can do that. I can still stand on one leg that way as long as one foot is up on the toilet seat and that's the way I do my toenails. Do any of you do it that way? I don't know, that seems to be the easiest. On the other hand, I can't stand on one leg and put my pants on. I have to lean up against something. Well, after I soak my feet in the morning, I um, like to get the my calluses or heels or uh, all around the, the feet. My feet are usually very dry, I have a lot of calluses on them. And I discovered, in fact, this should be a gift item. I wasn't gonna show gift items this morning, uh, but this should be one. I found this electric callus remover, or it's for heels and all the way around. Feet. And they, it comes with a whole package of these little round sanders. It's basically what it does. And it comes in a package. I think there's 60 of them. And on the back, you just pull off this little paper and it's a sticky thing. You just stick it on the end of this tube and it is electric. And they claim the reason that it's so good and so strong is because it is electric. It's not battery operated. So you plug it in, plug this little thing in here, and you do have um, dials here where you can go up, has a couple of speeds, and you can go up high or medium or low. I swear by this. As a matter of fact, um, <laughs> some of my kids uh, inherited my dry skin. Some of the boys have, well, Matthew is barefoot almost all the time anyway. He, he needs regularly to go to a pedicure, but I doubt if he would. Mikey too, but this would be a good gift for them. So let me just show you this. I've kept it all in a little plastic bag because it's easier for storage. I've thrown away the box, <clears throat> but I don't think it has a, a brand name to it unless it's these particular letters. 
FCR-2 electric foot callus remover. And I tell you, this speed and the efficiency of this is really wonderful. What What is that on my shoulder? I keep feeling this. I don't know what it is. Anyway, <clears throat> this would be a good gift for people that need this for their feet. Now, before I do my teeth, you know, you're always supposed to brush your teeth. I just use the Crest and I do have an electric toothbrush. It's a cheapy one. It's not one of those big fancy ones. And this is enough to do the teeth. I tell you, I am pleased with those strips. And what does it cost to go and have it done? I've only had that done once professionally. And that was before Mikey's wedding, which was, I think, 17 years ago. And I think this, these strips that I have been using did a better job than going to a dentist and paying $400 17 years ago to have that done. Now, <clears throat> nails today, after I work on my feet and get them all ready, nails cut and everything, I will put red polish on the toes today. What is that that's bothering me? There's tapping on my shoulder. Um, so anyway, my, as you know, you've been asking about the nail polish. I will put another coat on and you know what? I'm not even going to bother to take the old one off again. So that will be three coats, but it, it looks good whenever I do it. I just don't have the time today. And my lipstick, you're always asking about the color. It's a Rimmel lipstick and I believe it's number 530. And it's a matte lipstick that I do put a little of my shine stick on because it's it's just two two red light district. That's not the name of it. I think that might be, is that the lips? No, that's the nail polish. That's the nail polish name, which I love. And if you can't find this, remember it's a wet and wild that I got at Rite Aid for a dollar and then it said not for resale. I don't know what's going on with this polish, but I did find um, one of those, I think it's LA Colors, that is almost exactly the same color if you can't find that other one. And let me read this. Oh no, this is the paparazzi. <laughs> paparazzi lipsticks, the ones with the little dots on the top. And they're not expensive. I believe they're five or six dollars, not like all the big ones. And it's a nice color, has a nice shine to it. And it's almost exactly the same as the Wet n' Wild one, in case you can't find that. You know, I've shown you these little eyeglass cleaners a couple of times. These little things are like magic. And once again, they would make a great stocking stuffer. I'm going to use it because my glasses are fogged up. It's the only thing that works. You take this little thing that has hard rubbery things on the inside. You put your glass in between and you just start at the top and clean it. I think this works better than any cloth or anything that I have. And uh, the, it comes in a bag of a dozen or two dozen and it's, I don't know, under $10. Um, I'll, I'll try and find it. I'm amazon.com. And these are fabulous stocking stuffers. You know, you could divide the bag up and put just a couple in each bag. But Moose loves these too. These are great. Even if you don't wear regular glasses, they're great for sunglasses. Voila, the world opens up. So these I will put in the description box below too. <laughs> I'm telling you, something said, but this is the shoulder that's hurting. I don't know what's going on with this shoulder here. So, um, let me see. I've showed you my nail polish, which I might do. I pretty much showed you what, what it takes to get Nanny rolling on the, on the road. Um, I don't do all these things every single day. You know, that, that's too much. But with dry skin, you know, it starts building up and building up. And, and uh, the Nivea and the regular creams are okay for a couple of days. But every couple of days, you need the, all the intensive stuff all over again on your body. Definitely not the, the feet every three days. But 
I don't know if your routines are that intensive. Um, if you have oily skin, you are probably blessed and don't have to do all these things that I do. And by the way, I did show you my leg shaving kit. Having dry, flaky skin, I never could shave my legs with razors because it was, it, it, I'd get cuts and, and those little pimples and redness and it would sting for three or four days, even when I would put Vaseline on. Vaseline helps for all that too. But this machine I found huh, probably 25 or 30 years ago. Honestly, where do the years go? I don't know. But they still sell this, believe it or not, on eBay. You can find these on eBay. And I know because a couple of women, just a couple of months ago, I showed this machine again and a couple of women found it. This is a machine that will, um, it's once again a sander, but not like real sandpaper. It's not quite as coarse. The machine comes with several of these, but then you can buy replacements and you, you have to buy these on eBay. I don't know who sells this anymore, but these things just go in, you twist it somehow, they stay on, plug it in and you rub this in a circular motion over your legs like this. It's electric and the hairs come off. And this is the only machine that I use for my legs. Now, I must admit, I'm a lazy gal when it comes to shaving the legs in the winter time, And sometimes I just don't get around to it too often. You don't show your legs too much in the winter time anyway. But um, when you have dry skin, it, it's a process. So in here, this is my little kit of uh, nail and foot nail feet. And I have my clippers, my files, all my little goodies in here <clears throat> that help me take care of my feet and my nails. So I think that might be it for showing you um, what keeps me going. <laughs> and in a little while, I'm going to get dressed and I have to go to the store. A couple of things I need for my day tomorrow for making the tree. And I also have to make tomorrow night, I have to make my egg souffle, which is a family specialty that we usually do every Christmas Eve. We also do it on Easter morning. And um, I will probably give you that recipe. I've already shown it once or twice, probably a year or two ago, did it on Easter morning. And I will be bringing that up to Margie's in addition to my appetizer that we're going to make. So tomorrow I'll be doing two videos. I'll be doing the one with Colleen and I know you're all looking forward to that, but it won't go up tomorrow. I'm filming it tomorrow. And then I will be making with you, but not really. You won't see this one till Saturday. And I will be making that Christmas tree with the broccoli and everything, hoping all goes well. But I need to make a loaf of Irish bread. Nellie Flanagan, my grandma, uh, who came over on the boat from, uh, from Ireland when she was 18. And I'm so glad that I got to know her so well. She was quite a character. She married um, my grandpa, Tom, Tom Need, when she was 20, something like that. Had a great life. They had a boat. They had fun. They just were fun. And we did see them often. They lived uh, in New Jersey until I was about um, maybe 12, 10 or 12. And then they moved to Wilmington, Delaware. And we often used to go down there and visit and stay for the weekend. And <clears throat> I remember we had one of those old 1939 gray Plymouths. Now look that one up. That was the fat, chubby car with, I always remember driving with uh, such great memories of taking that trip to Wilmington with my brother. Now, my other brother came along after a while. Great memories of, of Nellie. <laughs> great name, isn't it? I even remember sleeping on her, um, she had kind of a sun porch 
and it wasn't it it wasn't screened in there were windows but it was off the living room and she had a day bed out there that was double and and sometimes i used to sleep with her at night and and i always remember putting my arms around her at, at night and she had a clock that you could hear the tick tock all night long she snored great memories of nelly isn't that interesting that i remember that well another non sequitur, but I think we'll close now. I do have some work to do too around the cottage. The cottage is calling me. It's been a, a bit neglected, more than a bit. I have to put some wash in. Moosey said he would do kitchen detail today, so I'm excited about that. A few other things, picking stuff up and finding places for them. Haven't lost anything today so far, so that's a good thing. So enjoy your day. I know all of you are looking forward to Colleen's visit. Colleen is the mental health therapist, and she's going to talk about some of our emotions and feelings during the holidays. I will be filming our little chat tomorrow, but just remember that it probably, you probably won't see it until Sunday, possibly, or Monday. So, just a reminder, I will see you tomorrow on day nine. I love you all. Thank you for enjoying. Welcome to all our new subscribers and God bless us all. I'm dreaming of a white kitchen. Ch oh, Pink Crosby didn't say that. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the ones I used to know. Where the treetops glisten. And children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. I said I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones we had at Big Bear. <laughs> May your days be merry and proud, and may all your Christmases be white. I love you, Moosey. I wish I could hit the notes. You did great. Goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow.